Hello, I trust that you're doing well. Welcome to Miss Fountain channel, your go-to destination for insightful and engaging educational content. Here, we explore a wide range of topics from science and history, technology and beyond. Prepare to expand your knowledge and spark your curiosity with our carefully crafted videos. Subscribe now and join us on our journey of discovery. In today's session, we're going to look at uh, forensic science. We are going to define what forensic science is, the history of forensic science, the roles of forensic science, as well as the questions that forensic science seeks to answer. And we are going to begin with uh, the definition. And forensic science is derived from, a, or comes from a Latin word, meaning a marketplace, which has been interpreted to mean pertaining to law, pertaining to law. Therefore, we find that it's the application of social and physical sciences to civil and criminal investigation. We find that the art of criminal investigation has uh, evolved grammatically over the centuries, that is from the days when eyewitnesses count on circumstantial evidence was all that was uh, required. To the current situation in which scientific evidence must be produced. On to the history of forensic science, and that Edmund Lockhart is a physician who made great contribution to the development of forensic science. This was by putting up the first crime lab, and for which is referred as uh, the father of crime lab. And his most important contribution is known as the, the Lockhart's Principle of Exchange. Lockhart's Principle of Exchange states that every contact leaves a trace. Every contact leaves a trace. And this is uh, basically the basis of forensic science. For every, every crime that happens, there must be uh, evidence. Because every contact leaves a trace. Uh, forensic science can be divided into one. Okay, forensic science can be divided into four groups or four divisions. And the first is the physiological division, and this covers uh, forensic medicine. The second division is social division, which covers forensic psychology. We also have uh, criminalistics, which covers fingerprints. We also have computer, and these are uh, covers all this with the cyber crimes. And now we are going to look at roles of forensic science. We find that uh, forensic science is important and, and plays a very big role. And these are some of the roles: one, identify and confirm the commission of a crime; two, identify victims. And perpetrators. Three, exonerate the innocent and implicate the guilty. Four, providing scientific facts or solutions which may corroborate evidence from eyewitness, victims, etc. Forensic science also plays a, a role of uh, recreating events at a crime scene and also fast tracking investigations. Those are some of the roles of forensic science. And the objectives of forensic science is to answer questions. And this, these are six questions. And they are often referred to as the, the six Ws. And the first one is what? And this looks into the event. We have why? And this looks into the reason. We have when, which covers time. We have how, which uh, looks into the manner. We have where, this looks into the, the place or the location. And we have who, this looks in who was the victim, who are the witnesses, who are the perpetrators, etc. Those are the six questions or that forensic science seeks to answer. That is what, 
why, when, how, where, and who. And they are commonly referred to as the six W's of forensic science. That is the end of our session. Thank you for joining us. We hope you've gained valuable insights and knowledge from today's video. Don't forget to subscribe for more enlightening content. And remember, learning never stops. Until